Alright, what's going on everybody at the Edge Network? This is Brennan from Supreme Supremacy, and today I'm going to show you a few abilities that Leroy has in the map Buried for Black Ops 2 Zombies, and uh, these abilities can help you out, and they can uh, make your game better, and uh, you can achieve higher rounds. So, the first thing that Leroy can do is that he can lock the box in place permanently, so this helps you in a way that you won't have to run around the map and have to uh, go through the witch's house and get the box if it lands in the maze, or um, just keep running around the map. It's just difficult to do that sometimes. So when when he hits the box, um, it is there for the entire game, and uh, it won't it won't move. So basically, that's a good thing, and uh, the teddy bear won't pop up, and you're 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 good in that area. So once you pick up this gun, you're gonna head over to uh, the next part where uh, he has another ability where he will fight zombies for you, and. Uh, when you feed him candy, he will hit zombies. Like if if you're in a large horde, he will help you a lot. He will uh, just start swinging willy nilly, and he will clap zombies, as you can see here. He uppercuts the zombie there, and uh, I go jumping over to the next roof, thinking that there's more zombies over here, but I guess there's not. But anywhere you move, he will protect you, and uh, he is very loyal once you give him the candy. So the third thing that he can do for you in uh, this map is to move the box to where you want it. So it will uh, appear around the map where you don't want to go. Maybe it's in the maze. You can come to a box location where the where the box isn't and feed him candy, and he will go run off and go pick up the box from wherever it is and come back with it. And he will uh, place it in the place that you want. So see, he's looking here at the three boxes with the teddy bear, and he's wondering where the box is. So he runs off and he goes to collect the box, which is down in the original spot in spawn. And he will pick up the box here and uh, put it uh, put it in between his arms and uh, run around with it. And he will uh, when he's climbing up uh, buildings to uh, bring the box somewhere, he will put it on his back, which I think is really cool. Trek did a really good job with his AI, and uh, I just think that they they did a lot of brainstorming with with uh, his abilities and what they were the, what they were gonna do with him. So basically, he's he's carrying the box up and he's gonna place it down, and uh, he's a good guy. He's our best friend now. So when uh, when you move on when you move on to the fourth fourth step here, he will uh, take three pieces of the five of the five chalk inside the armory that you have here, and he will. He will put them around the map for you, and uh, it's also a good help for uh, just put, just placing the chalk down if you don't want to see it there. But another downside of it is that you will not get the points for uh, putting the shit down because of uh, him placing it down. It's, it's like him getting the points and him helping you out for the candy, but you will not get the points for him placing on the weapon. It's kind of shitty, but. As you can see here, he's gonna trample, trample through all those zombies, going to the next question mark spot to paint the or, or chalk out the uh, new gun, and he's gonna place it over here. I'm not sure what it was, but he's gonna go on top of the saloon. He's gonna chalk out a new weapon, and uh, basically, it's actually a really helpful thing. But you will not get, po get points for placing it down. So the fifth thing he will do, he will pick up and hold crawlers for you, and they will never die unless you say so. So. When you, uh, when, when, you, when you get a crawler, you're going to have to feed him candy, he will pick up the zombie, and he will hold it until he uh, gets the indication from you to kill it. So, basically that, that means that uh, knifing him or shooting near the crawler will kill it, and uh, basically he will hold the crawler, and if you need to take a break, it's a really good thing to do, because he will never die inside Leroy's hands. And uh, he treats him like a little baby, and pats him up and down, and pats him on the head. He he, he just treats him really well. And uh, just to end uh, the zombie's misery, all you have to do is uh, shoot the zombie, and he will fall to the floor. And uh, basically, uh, Leroy stomps him out. So the sixth thing you can do with Leroy is when you see a box and you hit it, and you don't like the weapon that you have, you can eventually re-roll the box and when you when you re-roll the box it will uh, it will pick up another weapon unfortunately when uh, when I did this uh, I got the paralyzer and then when I got him to re-roll it because he kicks it and then he kicks it and I get the same exact weapon again from the box but he will re-roll the box for you and I think that's a really awesome feature but I pick up the paralyzer again and uh, I uh, go on my day so uh, the seventh thing that he can do is he can Reroll power ups, and I think this is really cool too. If you really need a max ammo for the Easter egg when you're trying to do the time bomb bit, you can uh, 
get him to re-roll the, the power-up and uh, basically he will uh, bring out a nuke, a max ammo, a double points, a carpenter for you out of whatever power-up you like and basically that's just really cool. So the eighth thing that he can do is that he can build the buildables for you and uh, he will build something random each time. It's uh, very, very random. So any any buildable table on the map, he will uh, he will come over for you, and you will uh, give him candy, and he will look at the blueprint, and he will uh, go collect the parts around the map and come build it. So he will go running now and uh, pick up the parts in the in the general store, and uh, just go pick them up, and he'll build them. I uh, went to go follow him around. He just he just runs in there and he picks it up, and he's just a really awesome guy. He, he's he's really fucking helpful on this map. I I don't I don't know what I would do without him. He knocks down all of the debris for the perks, and he's just really awesome. So guys, if you did like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe. It always helps. And uh, the Aether Network has been growing lately. We're about to hit 700 subscribers. And uh, if you guys did like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, peace out. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.